Hello YouTube, what is up Eroctic here. In today's video we are gonna talk about number crunching on the SMGs. I number crunched all the SMGs, but I was doing only the largest barrels just to save some time. If I am testing all the barrels it will take me 3 times more and it is not worth it, like come on. In the AR video we have already seen that it is quite obvious that lower barrels are doing lower damage and it is not worth it. Except AK-47. I'm strongly recommending you to go check AR number crunching first because there is a lot of useful information that you have to know before watching this video. So for my buddies that have already seen the AR video, let's just jump into best SMGs. The first thing I was testing is of course bullet count. And as you can see from this spreadsheet, the best SMGs for the killing snipers is SR645 and 9mm C1. They are the only SMGs that require one bullet to kill the sniper, while the rest requires two and except the sidearm scorpion he requires four. This is the spreadsheet with soldier 1. The best SMGs to kill soldier 1 is SR645 P90. MPX, PSG, 9mm C1 and Scorpion EVO 3 require 3 bullets to kill Soldier 1. But as you can see from the Soldier 2 spreadsheet, some guns disappeared and some guns appeared. P90, MPX and PSG disappeared, but 9x19 VSN appeared. So SR645, 9mm C1, 9x19 VSN and Scorpion EVO 3 require 4 bullets to kill soldier number 2. And of course same goes for the lieutenants. And when we are looking on the heavy, only 2 guns can kill a heavy with 4 bullets and that is SR645 and the 9mm C1. But of course there are rounds per minute, right? And of course I number crunched largest magazine size, you can see only largest magazine sizes. How long does it take to go from full to empty? And in the rounds per minute spreadsheet, we are seeing Scorpion Sidearm, Scorpion Evo 3 and Vector 45 are the only ones that have over 1000 rounds per minute. They have somewhere between 16 and 18 bullets per second. And of course I calculated time to kill with all of those Santa Blanca members. When we calculate all of that, only SR645 and 9mm C1 are one-shotting the sniper, that's why it is 0 seconds, it is insta-gib. And for the Soldier 1, P90, MPX, PSG and Scorpion EVO 3 are the shiniest ones. It requires between 0.12 and 0.16 seconds to kill Soldier 1 and the rest goes in 0.2 so they are irrelevant. And as you can see from the Soldier 2 spreadsheet, there is only that one gun that is really shiny, that's Scorpion Evo 3. It requires 0.18 seconds to kill the Soldier 2. And of course the same time to kill goes for the Lieutenant because they have the same HP. And when you're looking at the Heavy, there is again. Scorpion Evo 3 is dusting other SMGs, it requires 0.28 seconds. The second best is SR645 and Scorpion Evo 3 is 30% faster than the SR645. Do you see how big the difference is? And of course I made the best time to kills. This is the nice picture that I made in the Photoshop. So yeah, Scorpion Evo 3 blow my mind in this testing. I cannot believe that I wasn't playing with this gun. I will definitely play with Scorpion Evo 3 when PvP comes out. There is no doubt, it is the best SMG in the game, no matter what you guys are saying about accuracy, handling, reload speed, whatever. I wanna give a shout out to the Red Xenon for correcting me for the wrong calculation for time to kill in the AR section. I'm gonna do updated version of the ARs, I'm gonna test all of them again so we can have updated version with that wrong time to kill and I wanna do it with all ARs now, not just 6 of them. And I wanna thank John Road for helping me out with this spreadsheet, he's the only person that was helping me. Helping me. I'm not giving you spreadsheet document file anymore, 
I'm gonna give you a picture in the description down below just because it is annoying for me to just accept every single one of you to check my spreadsheet. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more geeky stuff about Ghost Recon Valens. Thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one. Eroctic, out.